Okay, so you're building an AI agent or even a multi-agent setup for many users, but not everybody should have access to all resources. What do you do? Define permissions inside of the prompts? Don't even start there. Host separate agents for each user? Way too complicated. You see, with N8N, it's very easy to build complex agents, but when it comes to tool usage, there are no built-in mechanisms to limit the access dynamically. At least, it was until now. Ever heard of RBAC? meaning role-based access control. It's a very common approach to grant users access to certain parts of a system based on custom-defined roles. In our case, it means we have three entities, users, roles, and tools, which can be represented relationally. Many users can have multiple roles, and many roles can have multiple tools connected to it. So let's take a look at this basic AI agent. How do we implement RBAC here? Let's start by identifying the entities. The user can be identified by a unique username sent by Telegram. Of course, this could be anything else like WhatsApp, Slack, IMAP, or similar. Tools are referenced by a name which is usually exposed as a variable here. So what we need now are two things, a place to manage permissions and a way to check for them. Let's create a management system first. Therefore, Airtable is a good choice. If you want to host on your own instead, I would recommend NoCodeDB. It's private and blazingly fast, but back to Airtable for now. So here we need all the three entities I mentioned earlier, users, roles, and tools. These tables are linked to each other and they also contain lookup fields. So we only need a single request to retrieve all information of a user. In this example, the user is me with the username N8N forever assigned to the roles basic and info and thus having access to the tools Calculator, List Granite Tools, and List Allow Tools. To get this information, we can use an Airtable node here at the beginning to simply retrieve the database row by searching for the username provided by the Telegram node. If that failed, a message to the user can be sent right here already that he has no access to the system. Otherwise, the workflow continues. Now comes the most important part. How do we limit access to certain tools based on granted permissions? That's where the Langchain code comes in handy. What we wanted to do is to act as a middleman between the agent and all the tools. For that, let's define the input to be many tools and the output to be just one. Also, let's rename this to check permissions. Then we need to add just a little bit of code here. Let me quickly explain. Dynamic tool is the object we are working with here. First, we get all connected tools and also the list of allowed tools, which we retrieve from Airtable. Now let's jump right here first. So we loop through every connected tool and check if it's part of the allowed tools. If so, we pass it through the response. Otherwise, we call the node tool function from above. In this setup, we explicitly want to inform the user when he's requesting a tool he's not allowed to. Thus, we cannot simply disconnect certain tools from the agent. Instead, we use a trick. The requested tool is being overwritten on the fly by a different one, whilst preserving its original name and description. Yet the only thing it does when omitted is to return an instruction back to the AI agent saying, tell the user you're not authorized to use this tool. Simple as that. Now we can reorder the connections so the tools are connected through the custom node. Also, I will temporarily disconnect the chat memory so it does not remember previous conversations with different permissions. Let's do a test run. If you remember, I currently should only have access to the calendar and both listing functions, but not the weather agent. When I ask it to return a list of my granted roles, it has access to the tool and replies correctly. If I, on the other hand, ask for the current weather in Berlin, I get back a response saying that I have no permission to do so. But now if I grant the weather role to my user, and ask it again, I can now access it and get a valid response. 
The tool, which was just called, is a subagent, by the way. This one. It is easily possible to pass the permissions down the hierarchy of a multi-agent setup and do the same checks there. For that, we can just pass the data from Airtable as parameters and use them there. Also, you have still the freedom to connect globally accessible tools directly to the agents and use the extra route for specific tools only. As always, you can get this workflow and also the Airtable base as free templates. Everything is linked down below. That's it for today and I'll see you next time.